every car in my collection, number one criteria, and if it doesn't pass it, I won't consider it, mm -hmm. is each car won a race in period. Welcome to a very sunny Yorkshire and to another episode of Kid in a Sweet Shop. We are here at United Autosports where I'm meeting the incredible Zach Brown, CEO of McLaren, who's going to show us around his incredible personal collection of cars. Come on, let's go. Look at the trophies. Zach, Jody. how are you? I'm good, yourself? Oh, good to, good see to see you. you. So exciting being here. Well, I've... let's go look at some toys. Yes, I've heard so much about it and actually to see them. Here's the toy show. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> the first thing I have to say is, just some of these F1 cars here have, have been so iconic of me as a little girl growing up and I'm actually seeing them in real life. They're, uh, they're wow. special. Okay, we'll get to those. So what is what have we got here? My two favorite McLaren drivers. <gasps> That's the Senna one. Ayrton Senna's last world championship cart. Oh my god. And goodness. Mika Hakkinen's uh, European championship. Cart. So those are my two favorite McLaren drivers. So Senna actually sat actually, in that seat. Yeah. And they're all, every, everything works. Everything wow. makes noise. Amazing, isn't it? What's like the top speed on these? These will probably do 75 miles an hour. <gasps> yeah, you wouldn't want to crash in one. <gasps> no way. Oh, I'm a Pretty bit cool. taken back by, Pretty you cool. know, I mean, all of us have such a love of Senna. Ah, he was he was everyone's hero, certainly my hero. Oh God, and mine. My my nephew is actually named after him. And Mika, not that we're saying anything about no, Mika, you're just two time world champion. Amazing. And have you you've taken these out? Uh Richard has. I haven't. I don't think I'd fit in either of those seats. Oh yeah, they're quite they were they're yeah. small, small little small yeah, little small, guys. small 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 little butts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um gosh, okay, go on. Take so, me through this. So this is Formula One Row. All the Formula One cars, uh, one races in period, yep. and we're all driven by world champions. Oh. Some of them are the world champion cars. Jody Schechter's. So this was Jody Schechter's. This was the first car that ever won on its debut at the time. Oh, wow. Um, he won three races in this car, including Monaco. He won Monaco in he this. He won Monaco in this. He won Canada in this, and I'm drawing a blank on oh. The first race, the, the debut, um, and this I got directly from uh, Walter Wolf. So as you can see, where every car is restored, yeah. this one I've decided to leave untouched because it this is, is as it came off the track. This is like oil and dirt and everything. It's from... perfect. Wow. So the Shit. next to this, normally I put them out in order of year, yeah, um, so but this, it's, was this is 1977. 77. This, mm -hmm. is this is the one. Mario Andretti's Lotus 79. He debuted in the Belgian Grand Prix in this car. He won, uh, won the world championship yes, this year. And then this became um, Ronnie Peterson's car the second half of the year, and he won his race in there. So this is the only Lotus 79 that won with both Mario and Ronnie. So this is unbelievable this is, this history. Is, this is a great, and to me, the most iconic, or you one of the most out iconic Out of all liveries. of them, this, this is the one. This is the one and I grew livery. up, yeah, yeah, and, and Mario Andretti's my, I've got a, well, I've got a lots of heroes, but Soft I've got spot. kind of my top five drivers. It's Senna, no. um, it's Mario, it's Mika, yeah. Uh, it's Emerson Fittipaldi because yes. I'm a huge yeah. Indy car. He was McLaren's first world world champion, and, and probably Nigel Nigel Mansell. Well, got to get a Brit in there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is just, and this is what I said. That I've seen this, these images of all of us sitting around the little tiny TV. I mean, not really that long ago, because of course I'm very young. Still. Um, <laughs> and you know, seeing these images of these cars of Andretti racing them. 
And to actually see it, you know. That's unbelievable it's, car. It's amazing. I remember having the, the model. Then, Ooh. this is the crown jewel oh. for, for me. Um, this is very, very special. So, Ayrton won the championship this year, but this is the exact car he won Monaco in in 91. Oh. So this, to me, ticks every box. Senna, Is that Monaco, where he couldn't McLean. get his knuckles off? No, that no, was that, was, that was Brazil the same that year. That was Brazil. Brazil the same year. Would um, have been this car? Different car, different, different car. Because they would have run three, four chassis right. during, the, during the year. Um, so this is this is the one Ayrton um, won Monaco in. That is such an iconic in. race, and I cannot believe that this is the car. This one I definitely don't fit in, which bums me out because I'd love to <laughs> I'd love to drive get it. Get me but in somehow. That's 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 uh, if they get me in, they're not going to get me out. But to me, this is. I mean, uh, this is like an altar. Yeah, this is unbelievable. And then next to this car, Mika Hakkinen, uh, he won the British Grand Prix in 2001 with this car. I've driven this. This you is have? spectacular. I don't fast. think I'd use it. I would stall it. I it think. Um, <laughs> they're actually they do a lot of things, but but they're they're so well refined yeah. that well, they're definitely not easy to drive mm -hmm. at the limit. And I've never been anywhere near that. I'm sure. No, even I've been at my own personal limit. <laughs> yes. But as far as pulling out, they're 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 getting easier. They're they're they're, they're, they're refined. So, you know, pulling out of the pits, things like that, you'll have a bigger chance of stalling one of those cars yes. that has a real sharp clutch yes, exactly. than one of these that has, a, this is a hand clutch. Right, okay. So that makes up the uh, Formula wow. One, uh, the Formula One collection. So tell me more, obviously, about McLaren, that you know that you've come from this amazing start of going on the Wheel of Fortune to, 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 to selling those things that you won mm. to where you are now. You're now, you know, CEO of, of the company, of the brand, of your favorite team. Is that right to say? Yeah, it's always been my favorite team. It became Centimated, my favorite, favorite team. Yeah. Um, I started really then following Formula One in 87 because that's when I started getting really into it. When we talk about IndyCars, I'll yeah. kind of tell you why. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he was in Lotus his last year and then he went to McLaren mm -hmm. and the whole Senna pros dominate in the MP44. That just, that was it. That was just the best team in the world as far as I was mm -hmm. concerned with the two best drivers in the world. Mm -hmm. And Ron Dennis and Monsur did an unbelievable job with the um, McLaren brand yeah. and yeah. just how dominant it was. Yeah. And uh, they've been my favorite team ever since. I, and and now you're you're running the whole show. I got, I mean, I got lucky. I would have never, uh, I would have never guessed. But it's because of your brilliance, I have to I, say. I, I mean, you- I love my job. You really are, and they're going to really exciting places. You got—I love your new. Well, we know We've Ricardo, got, but I love Lando. Lando's great. He's so cool. Daniel's great. We've got a great IndyCar team now yeah. with Pato and Felix. We won uh, this past weekend in Detroit, so mm -hmm. we're now leading the championship by a single point. So it's going to be a bit fantastic, bit nerve-wracking. And then we've just announced we're entering Extreme E. So. Uh, oh my God, I love yeah, Extreme yeah, E. Yeah, it's really cool. It's so. fantastic. Yeah. So this here, so I, yeah, I, I was about also to say, love, we can't walk uh, past this without. I, uh, <laughs> this uh, was always, I thought, the coolest looking car, a Porsche 962. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, five races in, in period. It ran from 86 to 88. It won every year. Wow. Uh, 24 hours at Daytona, 12 hours Sebring. Um, it is a beast. It's, and it's a beast. And then it's just, to me, such a cool looking uh, car. I mean, it really is, and it's so square. Yeah. It's kind of like it's awesome look. And then I love the livery, the biopunk livery. I always thought this was a stunning-looking race car. It really normally is. next to this, um, I have a Lancey LC2 <gasps> oh. that uh, was on pole at Le Mans. I know the story um, of this. And Bob Woolick and Alessandro Nanini and Riccardo Patrese yes. drove it. But it icon. kind of it was not just on pole. It really, I mean, it was like. It was dominating, Ten and, then it, and, then, and then it broke. I think it was a gearbox, like in hour seventeen. They were always pretty oh. unreliable. So this what was a color! A, an M eight D, McLaren M eight D. Dan Gurney. This is unfortunately when Bruce passed away at Goodwood. Oh God! 
Dan Gurney came in as his replacement and won uh, two of the first three races he competed yes. in. So, wow. This is kind of, this is the transition from yep. Bruce to at that point, the next era of, God, of that McLaren. Was sad. Um, very. Um, Dan's obviously a legend. Uh, this is, I mean, this was, this was going to be Bruce's race car. Um, well, so, he did him proud. Yeah. This one is about as cool as they get. So this okay. was Emerson Fittipaldi's, McLaren's first world champion. Mm -hmm. And I love that he won both the IndyCar championship and, and F1. I can't uh, believe which that. Which Mario has also done and Nigel had done. This is his actual car. I got this from Roger Penske. I remember getting the phone call from him because he knows I'm a big car guy. I always hassle them. And, um, this is the actual car Emerson won the 1989 Indy 500 in, which was that very famous race where he and Al Jr. Yes. touched with a couple laps to yes. go. And he also won the championship this year. In this particular chassis, he won three or four of his races that year, Cleveland, Detroit. Um, so to get it from Roger, mm -hmm. Emerson Fittipaldi, India, I remember wow. the Indy 500 like it was yesterday. Yeah. Um, so I love this one. Have you been in this? Nope, not yet, <laughs> not yet. I've got a few others. So normally I have this as IndyCar row and that is Formula One row. Yeah. But that's the one that got me into racing. This was the first, this that's, was the one. That's the one. So this is the 1987 Long Beach Grand Prix winner. So this, this is was the, the one, one that won. This is the one that won. The Mario Andretti, he also put this car on pole at Indy and led 179 laps. It lapped the field and uh, the engine ended up breaking because they told them to slow down. Mario shook, shook this car down for me in Chicago. Lando's driven this car, but this is the race car. This is the Long Beach Grand Prix I went to. This fault. That got, this, it's, is, this, this is the this car. Fault. This is the car. I cannot believe you've got it. Yeah, me neither. After showing me the incredible array of legendary cars in the workshop, we headed upstairs to see more of Zach's awesome collection. Some of the cars here, yeah. um, they all have memories to me. I either watch them on TV, Amazing. but some of the cars here are the cars that got me into racing or some of my earliest memories, and I was at the, at the race, um, which is pretty Pretty it's cool. just so cool. Okay, so talk us through the, this first one. So this one I, I recently got. Um, this ran in IMSA in the late 70s. Ah. It was actually a McLaren engine car. So a lot of people don't know there was McLaren engines no. in, uh, in Michigan. And um, so, you know, McLaren has a history with BMW both Mm -hmm. uh, the McLaren F1 that mm -hmm. we won Le Mans with. Mm -hmm. And then this particular car won a couple races. Uh, the big race it won was the IMSA race at Road America with David Hobbs and Derek oh, Bell. We and love Derek. so uh, Derek's Such great. A legend. David's yeah. great. Yes. Um, cool looking car. It's love so IMSA. lovely. And then over on the back, it's got a McLaren Engines logo. So I thought, oh, given my, gotta, gotta have given, that. given my connection to McLaren, have that, that was a. I gotta have. It's beautiful. I do love it. Looks like a little pocket rocket. Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. This is uh, probably the least famous car. The 430? Uh, it, it, 430, it was yeah. my race car. So this oh, is the nice. car I raced at the 2008 Montreal Grand Prix. Oh, amazing. Um, and I won, which was, which was cool, because <laughs> then as I came through the pit lane, all the F1 guys came out. Oh, what a And then Stefano Domenicali presented me the uh, trophy. So that's a, that's, a fun that's car. That's brilliant. Valuable to me, probably and, not and a big car. It is a item. lot of fun though. It's a great You car could just drive. go round and round and round and round. Oh, look at this one. So this car, Can Dale Earnhardt won a ton of races in. Daniel's gonna get to drive this as soon as he gets is his it, first podium this, points. You, this you, is the one. This is the bribe, he's, he's, is it? He's a, he's a big Dale fan. Dale's a, a legend, uh, and he won four or five races in this, so they used to run them multiple years. So this ran in 83, 84, 85. Right. Started off as Ricky Rudd's car, uh, and I watched it 
race, so to kind of have the real thing. I Isn't think that is amazing? Pretty cool. It's I mean, how do they come up for sale often? Not, how do you not get often, all of them? But I think once people know you're a collector, you're into the history. People then kind of if they hear something's for sale, they'll mm -hmm. put it on my desk, or I look at auctions, and then sometimes you got to push. If you see a car, you got to kind of convince someone who's Chase maybe them. not a seller. This is where your marketing side That's where comes the market, in. The sales <laughs> this and marketing is, side this is comes in. <laughs> Have you driven this? I've not driven that yet. No? I've not driven that yet, but I'm looking forward to driving it. Oh my god. I don't goodness. have enough time to I know, to you're drive quite them. busy. So not every car I either have driven or I can fit in. <laughs> um, I love that Daniel is like, that's the excited. one. Out of all of your collections, that's yeah, the one. That's the one. And for people that don't know, basically, can we say you bribed yeah, Daniel Ricardo fair, so. saying that if he gets a podium this year, He's allowed to drive yeah, that one. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Hopefully <laughs> he does it by the US Grand Prix. Can we be, come and watch? It'd be fun, yeah, it'd be fun to, <laughs> I uh, want it'd to, be see fun to bring out. <laughs> then this one is the last works uh, Holden car to win the oh, Bathurst race. Oh, it's the Holden, race. of course. Yeah, so this is... Oh, one Bathurst. We're, uh, yeah, one Bathurst. And it was either 2011 or 2012, I mm -hmm. should get my years right. And um, this is with uh, Walkinshaw, which we're now partners with, with Michael Andretti and Ryan Walkinshaw. I so love the ties. Walkinshaw, yeah. Andretti United. Um, yes which is a very successful supercar team. Mm -hmm. uh, they won, uh, again, it was either in 2011 or 12. I want to say 12, but mm -hmm. I'm probably wrong now that I'm saying 12. <laughs> Don't uh, worry, we'll, get, we'll, let, we'll let you have a year or two. And, and Bathurst <laughs> is, uh, oh, what a track. is stunning. And this I've driven a lot, and this car is fun. This one's special, uh, mm -hmm. one of my favorite to uh, drive. Yeah. Um, so Carlos Sainz, it's who's obviously, um, yeah, it's an um, unbelievable car. So this won the 97 Acropolis uh, World Rally with Carlos Sainz Sr. driving it, who I've become quite, quite close with because obviously his son dr drove for us yeah. in McLaren. So um, as far as craziness, this is up there. Th this is up there. And it is so much fun to drive. I love rallying. So, so I've only had this about a year and a half, and, and it's, Carlos inspired me to. Can we go get rallying this. together? I learned. I learned oh, last week, it's and I was like, "Oh my god, I have just fallen in love with it." These guys are committed. I just love that every single one has some kind of connection, whether it's through McLaren or whether it's you watching as a little boy or someone that you know. Yeah, they all. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's either the. And then one thing, every car in my collection, the uh, number one criteria, and if it doesn't pass it, I won't consider it, mm -hmm. is each car won a race in period. Amazing. So every car is a race winner. Second. If second, no. I don't care if it's my favorite driver, my favorite race, my favorite team. Not having it. If it's second place, <laughs> won't do it. So every car is won, um, which I think kind of well, makes it cool. Well, this is maybe this amazing will to win that you've always had. I love it. Thank you so much for talking us through what an array of cars and and just hearing your your history and and kind of you know the inspiration that that can give to to guys that um, you know want to get into the sport and and you know what you've done and what you've created is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of hard work. Yes, and a lot of, of good course. people around. Oh, brilliant.